carved. Why? Just because I was banned. What should I put in the description? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Sure. Yeah, well, it works on it, so you just wrap it. That's all you need. That's all you need, bro. Don't say that. Oh, I should have. I should have got a thumbnail ready. I made a mistake on that one. Aren't I? In fact, you know what? I'm just going to use this. Um...
<laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> Imagine that though, someone is waiting in someone's house and they said, how are you? Have any views commented on my finger? Yeah, because I think I sort of messed up, I think, because I started, I, you know, I did it so you can't see like the comments, but then that is a mistake. Well, because when people comment like they just have, I don't, I can't see it. So I keep trying to refresh it on my computer. What is that? Who is that? <laughs> yeah, it's not even loading up on my computer though. No, like I'm refreshing it, and then it says live view is four, and then it says comments zero, but it's not. See, why can't I see that? I have to start that out. Yeah, I'll sort out all the comments after this game. Or I'll try and do it half time or something. Yeah, it's because of his composure, isn't it? 
he's sick, but then that's why I stopped using him because he's sick. But then in them opportunities and chances where you need that goal more, he, he's not the player. Unfortunately, you're definitely not. Oh yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, we. What do you say? What go? Oh, alright. <laughs> so what you're about? I, I don't remember being in a pathway where you used in sports though. I can't remember. School was too long ago now. That child and had too long ago. Memories are alright, but I don't remember school that far back in like year seven. Right, why is it I'm just gonna have to go on my phone and look at the comments that way. No, but I still not. They're still refreshing on. Still not re uh, coming up on the computer. For whatever reason. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job. I it's a, definitely a good job. I did that. <laughs> yeah, well, he may as well have. <laughs> Why would that ever happen? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, also have no channel at the end of it. <laughs> what? I said I also have no channel at the end of it. Right. That makes sense. No. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. That's sarcastic. Get Neymar on for his debut. <laughs> Just someone Neymar. Yeah, Messi running low on his stamp. Yeah, but they've they class um, they class it as people whistling as well. Uh, yeah, apparently that's class is it. Yeah, might just missed the Get him in the mess, yes, please. Right, what is name? I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that makes sense. All right. <laughs>
My first game as well, by the way, uh, Zidane and Hullet, I played playing against her. What's that about? I mean, I've got Cantona, you save your life, but... Alright. Decent goal, to be fair. In, is Milo Sarr as well? Well, when you get home from uni. Yeah, I'll do it whenever. I need to get a new mic as well though. But, I shouldn't. Yeah, but, <clears throat> a better mic can also help that with that, like the noise. Thingy. I'm not picking it up as much because I'm just using like dead earphones so did you start speaking Spanish? You do Spanish in school. Well, <laughs> oh, I'm not the one to ask. Walker, yeah. I mean, that was like the easiest goal I've ever seen in my life. The guy that she backed off from me. Right, time to sort this comment situation out. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm not getting. <clears throat> yeah, true. Let's have a look. Uploads. You don't. That's because it's not uploading. Yeah, because on my say I'm in my live now. And then there's actually, it's apparently there's just no comments whatsoever, which doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Is he working? I don't know. Right. Give us a sec. Right, Charlie, I'm, I'm gonna join back the pie soon. Right. I'm gonna have to read comments off my phone then. So, 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 so how are you? Good mate, how are you? 
hey bro told you I was gonna be here well thanks for that thanks for the support appreciate it hope you enjoy the content Yeah, so unfortunately I can only read comments off my phone, but it's not coming up on my screen for whatever reason. I have to sort that out for the future streams and stuff like that, but Let's get into another game. Another sick team as well.
No Rafael. Nice. <laughs> Never press the button, but of course the AI slides as usual. Pause <laughs> Thank you. 
come on. Gonna get Neymar on again.
Well, we touched the ball like once or twice and got a goal, so not too bad. That guy's having none of it. Hey dude, how you doing? Doing alright mate, how are you? Not doing too bad myself. Three solid teams I've come up against so far. Bit of a different team. Decent to be fair. What a save. And a set goal. I've just done that. Shocking. Definitely should be 1 0 up, but.
was shocking. What a save again. That was shocking. Got lucky to keep the ball though to be fair. There we go. Well deserved that goal, to be fair. And see fight future star Miss Sitter again. What a pass. Poor defending to be fair. Don't know why I'm crossing them in to be fair. I'd, I never cross them in usually. Just I've got Pepe now, so. Right, how has he got away from me either? That should never have happened. Should never have happened that goal. Oh well. One you save you.
come on, just edit this in that. Keepers made three quality saves now. Game should be over. Eleven shots in the first half with seven on target. It's unfortunate. Say his keeper was sick in that first half though, but still feel like I should have been scoring the majority of them. Clyde Faruna. Come on. Oh. I'm going to set goal. Perfect pass, but <laughs> come on, how's that not a foul? That was a joke. I shouldn't. <sighs> joke that.
substitution for the visitors. Coming off the bench, number 12, Joe Gilman. To be replaced by number 5, Rafael Barron. Took a touch more than I wanted to, wanted him to, but there we go, you save your. Nice goal, cheers. I don't know how this game's three all at the moment, to be honest, uh, but but it is. So should the game, like I said before, if you was there, uh, the game should have been over at half time. But That first pass from Cantona then, I wanted that goal to go straight to Neymar, but... That... One pass went through my whole defence, it's gone through at the back now. Um. We'll bring on Kulosevsky. Uh Hopefully, he can help us bring it back, but. I don't know how he scored that again, just one pass going straight through my whole defence. Annoying. I can't believe I'm getting beat. I actually can't believe I'm getting beat. <laughs> yeah, alright. It's game over. <laughs> no way I should have lost that game.
I said earlier on the game should have been over in the first half but somehow his keeper made three incredible saves that kept him in it and then he scored two or three goals that I just should never have conceded but two and one now I think I went like 12 and all, 13 and all last week before I lost, but unlucky, bro. Yeah, I'd yeah, it is a bit unlucky to be fair, but plenty more games left. But yeah, I should never have lost, but unfortunately, I did. Uh, this is my team as well, by the way, if he was interested in that. Um, new players I'm trying this weekend are this Cucurella card. Say three games played with him at the moment. And uh, this What If Pepe. Because I had uh, Future Stars Ruben Diaz there, but he's like 330k, so I'll sold him and when I looked at this Pepe card he just he actually looked really good so yeah I thought I'd give him a go how's Pepe um, from these few games um, he's been decent but obviously it's hard to tell after only a few games I guess but yeah from what he's done so far he's been pretty solid but I mean going off our last game I conceded four so but you know, I, whoever you have in defence, you're always going to concede stupid goals. Like, you could have a full silver team and you probably do just as well. Or full silver defence and you probably do just as well in that area as you would with whoever you had in defence, really. Obviously, you probably do a bit better with higher rated cards and better overall cards, but yeah. I feel like defence is one of them um, areas on the pitch where as long as they're fast or have relatively decent pace then they'll probably do alright because majority of the time there'll probably be a few AI blocks to get thrown in so yeah but yeah Pepe so far has been he's been alright not too bad like I said he's only there for now just uh, to try him because I had him I packed him untradeable from uh, the ultimate pack I got for playing the game so yeah it's the only reason I'm using him I don't know what these teams these teams are that I'm coming up against every single one has been mad team here Mbappe how much even is that card now? 97 Mbappe on PlayStation is six and a half mil. One pass and I'm what a tackle. And he's got a free chance anyway, what a save. I don't play on Friday just because of the team seems so much more relaxed on Saturday. Um Yeah, to be fair I'd probably say the same, but I never know how many games I'm gonna actually end up playing. Like I always change my mind and just depend on how I feel at the time. So I end up just playing try and play a few on the Friday. Just so I've not got all weekend on well Saturday and Sunday just dedicated to foot champs. Just try and spread it out as much as I can really. But yeah, 
I know what you mean, I just... I feel like in general the first few games are usually... You know, they're usually like the easier ones, whereas these teams I've been coming up against so far... Yeah, as if. That would have been a nice goal as well, that. Having players just sit on the line is so OP, they just block every shot. Exactly, like, I did the keeper in, um, sat him down with a chip, but out of nowhere, of course, Joe Gomez saves the day. So, so I was saying before, even, like, any defender would have done that. So... That's what I was trying. That was sort of my point with Pepe a minute ago. But yeah, it's a bit annoying. Like I say, the whole build-up to that move and like the skill just before uh, getting to the keeper, and then actually. Pretty much sat the keeper down with a ball roll and then chipped him, but then out of nowhere something he doesn't control saves him. Ah, uh, I, I don't know what I'm seeing. How, how do you miss? It's free header. Certain that was going to be a goal. What is going on in this game, man? Just shows how bad it can be. Now we'll know where Joe Gomez comes in again. Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. Come on, I'll pass that for... There seems to be a loaded delay at the moment as well. I'll pass that first time, but... There we go. Final. Good tackle. From Pepe. Quality finish.
battered him on possession. A few more shots. Well, two more shots, two more on target. But yeah, I feel like definitely deserved that, that lead anyway. Why was he going to turn around then? That was shocking. Game should be out of reach now. Neymar on again, he's probably just going to. This you probably just constantly see that same sub to be honest. Um, you know, Messi coming off for Neymar. Whilst I've not got played one for Messi anyway, that's probably going to be the main sub. Well, the, to be fair, maybe even when I've got his player a month, but we'll see. These stamina will be better by that time anyway. Plus, I guess Neymar is more fun to use being five star skills. That should hopefully be game over. What a save. That would have been a sick finish though. If I went in. Quality pass. That dribbling, <laughs> that dribbling is disgusting. Quality goal though.
Right, I don't know what's going on there. Defender just stops running. That goal. <laughs> Funny you, Lewis, mate. Funny. You know who's sick? Neymar one of the match and he was on the pitch for like 20 minutes nice win yeah cheers deserved it 3 and 1 now but should never have got a loss but oh well Four goals in four games off the bench, not too bad so far. After this game, I might see if I can do the party bag SBC I'm not sure if I can um, I think I've got the players I've just not got like the informs unfortunately for Farner um, what as in to use him or Because so far I've got like, I've got his 84 and that is all I've got so far, I've not really gone any further. I will do eventually, I will get him at some point, because uh, he's still there for like another 5 days, but at the moment I can't really be bothered. But yeah, Fafana was always going to go in a team, that's why. I've, I've gone for him really but yeah he was supposed to go on a team this weekend but I couldn't be bothered playing for it with Gendouzi being there and stuff like that I'm not had as much time to do it as I'd like but that's why I've gone with Pepe 
thought I'd try him. But yeah, next weekend, hopefully, Fafana should be in the team. No, I was talking about this guy, so I really thought. To be fair, I didn't even notice he had Fafana. That's how much the teams have changed from the previous four games. I don't even switch yet. So I'm marking us up front. In a bit, mate. Well, I pass that. He's gonna quit. Nice and easy. And that's why I've been Triore as a fullback um, is pretty good because with the chem style I've got on him, it goes to like 87 finishing, and when a fullback's push up that high. Um, him in the box can be very useful like that in situations like that like Dest on the other side is sick going forward like he's got loads of assists and they scored quite well quite a few for a fullback anyway um, scored decent Amount, so yeah, my fullbacks are uh, pretty much the main part of my team. I'd say they create probably most of the chances. What, what chem style do I have on? It's the one that does, yeah, shooting and defending. Gladiator, yeah, puts him to 87 finishing, and his defending goals very high and very good as well. So Because I didn't really like Traore at first, um, at left back, I wasn't a fan of him. Um, but then when I switched to five at the back, miles better. And obviously that's because he's probably better going forward than he's defending anyway. So 
he's actually very good for that. Right, I might see if I can quickly do this party bag. Gundagun is also there actually, which I will complete because you probably don't know, uh, but City fan and every year I just get all the City cards that are available to play for or uh, like from an SBC. So, for example, got some City City now. Done all the SPCs that have come out so far, Mares, Aguero, Zinchenko, Stones, Gundogan. But I probably won't keep this one now, it's probably a bit pointless. So I might just put that one in this party bag or even in Series 88. Eighty four rating with two informs. If you was here before I said uh didn't have any informs so I don't know. I'm gonna have to probably go and buy them, unfortunately. Probably spend like forty K in total. Might put Gundogan into this to be honest. Got Pope obviously, but he's in my team. Orsic looks decent to be fair, but I'm not going to use him at any point. So overpriced this SBC for what it is, but I'll just do it. Why not? If you get something sick, then can't complain really. Like the last few times I've done it. But I still I need to inform them, so I'll go and foot bin quickly. 21 players and we'll see what the cheapest in forms are Turn to 20k they've gone up which you'd expect from before because you could get 82s for just under 20k but now you can only get 81s for just under 20k which is a bit annoying Yeah, the two um, farms I was looking at before have gone up about 7k. Which is annoying. But, 60k. Bundesliga. Probably have to get him. It'd be nice if they brought out, um, you know, the guaranteed inform packs. But, of course, they haven't. But it would have been pretty nice if we did that. So 
put him See if it can be an 81 rated, and if it can be, then I can probably say myself. Well, it's up to 10k. Can't be, obviously. Who do we get? It's because no one's really good for links either. Probably have to get him. It's only 5k. We we'll have to convert Oldergaard, I reckon. What's he called? Do you need an H2 in form? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I just bought that Renato Stefan, the guy. Um, if you've seen him in the squad then I bought him and I need another one now. I just don't understand why it's so overpriced but but it is so it's a bit annoying. 56. You can convert him to a centre forward. The two I've just bought the informs are supposedly the cheapest on the PlayStation market at the moment, according to Footbin. So that's why I've gone with them. That should do it. Two eighty two informs that I bought for 23,750, 23, so 46,750 I spent. Um, and the actual overall SBC. How much is it? Party bag. It's about 120k at the moment. So I'll probably save myself 80k because obviously just around the two informers just need an 84 rated team. But yeah, that this pipe bag's dearer than the new player month Gundogan. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure they have taken out um, ones to watches though, which is pretty nice. Obviously, the what if cards are now in there, and but and then the ones to watches are no longer there. I don't think. So, because one real breaker to the final, record breaker, team group stage, foot freeze, headliners, foot future stars, or what if player. So yeah, no one swatches, which is obviously where the majority of the bad ones came from. So, at least they're not there. Pretty much been replaced with what ifs. Um, still plenty of shocking players that you can probably get. But, but yeah, we'll get it opened hopefully it can be someone worth using tiktok clip up upcoming here freeze card lotto and Martinez. that's sick i think anyway lotto he has got a better card in his 88 in form. Yeah, he's at like 250k at the moment. Big dub, yeah. I'd say so, it's pretty sick. High low. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, his dribbling's sick. Four star, four star as well. 
nice bro, yeah. Cheers. Sick one. I got Kimmich. Is that his team in the group stage one? Yeah, it will be all right. Team group stage Kimmich, 160k. Well, 160k on PlayStation, 35k on Xbox. It's not a bad card, but yeah, it's it's not really what you want to see. Well, that's a sick one to get. Another sick forward that I have to have a think about it with who I want on the bench. But just fodder, really. Yeah, probably. Like I say, he doesn't look too bad. I'm looking at his card now on foot bin. He doesn't look bad, but if he don't fit in your team, and then yeah, it's pointless. And he's got better cards anyway. Obviously, he's got his team of year card, and he has a 91 in form as well. Obviously, his team of year is like one point seven mil, something like that. But Could have been worse, could have been better, I guess. Um, I still have too many good forwards. What do you think of Nedved, the prime moments? Um, I would say it's a very good card and if you can do it then I'd say go for it. You could probably play him anywhere from centre mid up. Uh, centre mid, cam, centre forward, striker, left wing, right wing, wherever. Really, I, yeah, he's five star weak foot, four star skills as well. How much is he coming in at? 775k on Xbox and 815k on PlayStation. You're not going to get many better cards, to be honest. When we, when we get to team of the season is when you'll see probably better cards. But at this stage, like I say, if you can do him, then I, I'd say go for it. I was tempted to do him before playing one for Messi came out. Um, I was thinking about doing him, and then when I seen Messi, I just thought I'll just go for Messi instead. But yeah, like I say, I was going to do him, so. That price is really good as well. On the Xbox market, to buy him is just over a mil and then on PlayStation he's just over well sorry just under 1.2 mil and before his SPC came out on PlayStation he's like 1.7 mil so the SPC made him come down quite a lot and like I say for around 800k on both consoles I'd go for it like if you put an engine on him Obviously, it depends where you're going to play him. If you're going to play him more as like a striker or maybe a cam, then you probably put. Let's have a look. Hawk. Hawk's sick. Yeah, I'd, I'd go for it. I was thinking of playing him instead of Kulosevsky. Well, yeah, it'll be obviously it'll be a massive upgrade for a start. Um, I I really like Kulusevski, but yeah, if you if you had the option of getting Nedved, then definitely do that. Don't know who to get rid of now. 
Might have to be Kulosevsky to be honest. Quite similar, aren't they? Both right wingers, but left footed. We'll get rid of Kulosevsky for now, so we can maybe sub on Martinez and try him out at some point. Could maybe even start him. Um, gets a link to Zanetta if I started him at right wing back or right back. There could be a way I could fit him in because, like I say, that card looks sick. But the only issue now is with me playing five two one two and me going for player month Messi. Literally, my three forwards is just not going to change, which is a good thing and a bad thing I'd probably say because you know my forwards are set but it's annoying that I maybe can't really change now and again see if I use my swaps tokens on the icon swaps packs and do him or get a mid or prime pipe prime icon pack so yeah, so you, basically you can do them if you go for the icon swap packs or get a mid or prime icon. I would go for Nedved all day because the mid or prime is, I guess it's it's decent, but you're risking it. Um, you might end up getting Inzaghi or something like that when you could have just gone and got a load of fodder and get Nedved when you guaranteed someone and it's a moment which is the best version in the game instead of getting a mid or prime so I would definitely say Nedved plus if you do the um, packs then you never know you could pack something that can go into your team as well so I'd say you go for the swaps, um, the icon swap packs, and then get an advert. I'd say that's your best option, definitely. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I'd definitely say that is the best way. Where would you play as well? Obviously you said you replace him for Kulosevsky, but where's that striker or somewhere else? Left mid, I think. What formation do you play in game? Four four two deep. Minimum four four two deep. Who do you have as your strikers currently? Another six in again. Mm. 
My strikers are 94 Ronaldo and El Shuara. 94 Ronaldo. See, I'd say maybe switch Nedved and El Shuari, but I feel like obviously this is just maybe my opinion and just how I felt playing with like left mids and right mids. I just feel like they sort of wasted. It's for me, it's similar to the 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, I feel like the wide cams in that and then left mid, right mid, and that 4 4 2. I just feel like they sort of wasted and I don't feel like the players that play there need to be like anything special as long as they have good pace and stuff I'd feel like they do a decent enough job so that's why I was wondering because I feel like maybe getting Nedved for a left mid may just be a waste but that's just my opinion anyway I'd rather use him as a striker, especially that five star weak foot. Completely agree. Yeah. So yeah, I'd, you could maybe try a different formation unless you've tried other formations and you've not been that keen on them. But uh, my recommended formations would probably be uh, five two one two four one two one two narrow, and then. I enjoyed 4 triple 2 more towards the start of the game but then I sort of went off it a bit. Similar reason with what I said, the wide cams don't seem to be involved that much and in that formation there's a lot of like, obviously because you don't have that middle cam, you don't have that, that much um, creative option in the middle, which is why having the cam now with Messi and then obviously now having Neymar as a sub I think he's created a lot more chances but I guess 442 deep is very similar to 4 triple 2 anyway it's just with left mid right mid it? so That was never a foul. I just really gel with the 442 for some reason. Well, that's what I mean. So if you enjoy the 442, then there's no point sticking with it. Obviously, you probably had to enjoy it to be using it. But I was just thinking that, like I said before, Nedved on left mid might, I feel like, could be wasted for the price you're going to pay. Obviously, like I said, he's worth it. But then just to play him at left mid 
when the Arsic card I submitted into an SBC before I'll probably do the same job for 20k then I don't know that's just my thoughts on playing them there but then you already have like two solid strikers so or you could just maybe not do Nedved and just save your stuff for maybe a different SPC that comes out I should have shot so much earlier then waste their chance maybe yeah uh, up to you I'd even maybe recommend that Cliver to be honest because I used him last year um, and he was so good and that was obviously a different version he didn't have five star weak foot last year I don't think anyway he was four star four star last year so him with five star would be sick I don't know where I'm going to sub on Lautaro Martinez though. I was looking then trying to think. It's just... I just don't want to take Cantona or Eusebio off just because they're that good that you know they can change it but... Maybe I should take Cantona off. I just shouldn't have shot though to be honest, he was never going to score from there. Fortunately long range shots like that don't go in anymore. There we go. Can't wait to use his player of the month because this his normal card is still unbelievable. So I don't even want to know what his player of the month is going to be. Going to be like. Thought he was going to save it off the line then, wouldn't surprise me. Nice goal, cheers. Thought I messed up but trying to go around the keeper, but worked so. It's annoying. 
scored straight after me. Right, I'll tell him that. Right, I'll sub him on for Cantona. We'll try him. Why not? Like I said, his dribbling stats just looked mad. So, I could maybe even get if I ever like change formation in the future. I could maybe start him because obviously uh, I've got Meta. Um, obviously, a lot of time has links to him as I sort of want, want to get Zanetti back into my team. I was going to use him at centre half this week, but uh, yeah. I decided to try Pepe out instead. Can't really argue with that goal though, to be fair. Prime can't now ain't missing from there, so. Come on. Now Sanchez, that's been like three or four times now in this game. Pass it nowhere near where I wanted it to go. Literally similar to that ball he's just done. Get in. Neymar's too good as a sub. You'd probably expect that, but... Neymar's just OP. Yeah, I guess he is, to be fair. I, to be honest, though, I've used him twice before... Obviously, I packed him. I bought him. Um, once and I actually packed him earlier on in the year tradable and I used him then after I packed him I, I didn't think he was that good but obviously then I was starting him but I guess as someone that good off the bench would just be too OP quality pass as well That should hopefully be game over. Good pass from Neymar as well. It's a ruin it dinner. Low stamina of your position. Potentially could be part of it, to be fair. Um, I don't see why not. Obviously, I've been subbing him on around like the 60, maybe around 60th to like 70th minute. So, that probably is part of it. Like I said, just because it's just because it is Neymar is probably the main reason. But yeah, low stamina. Obviously, that's why you sub players on because to try and change the game with low stamina and stuff like that. So. I think so far Cucurella has been decent as well. Uh, last weekend I used Zinchenko in centre mid and he was sick there to be fair so I didn't really want to drop him but I've not tried Cucurella yet so I thought why not. Neymar man of the match again. I think that's twice, maybe three times in a row. 
he's got man of the match for coming on for the last like 20, 20 odd minutes. That is five and one. I got rid of him for the icon player pick. What, you got rid of Neymar? Or someone else? I don't think I was talking about anyone else. Oh, Cucurella. Yeah. Well, it depends if you if he fits in in your team or not, doesn't it? Like, I've done. Like at the start of this game, for some reason, whatever reason, I decided that I'm gonna do every. I try and do every single objective card that's come out, and then just try and keep him throughout the whole game. And so far, I've got every single one in my club unless I've missed out on one that I don't know about then I've got pretty much every single one other than the uh, Fafana and the new player objectives uh, that have come out so like the Ruben Neves, the Benedetto and then that Pastore today literally Muki uh, Ailey was like the first one that come out I think along with the Akin Fenwa as well so so far I've literally done every single one I've done all the silver cards as well pretty much everything that's come out I, I don't think I've missed out on one but I probably have somewhere But yeah, I don't think I have. And I'm not, like, I probably could go and do that messy really easy now with them, some of them cards, just by throwing them in. But I'm just reluctant to doing it. I don't want to, like, it's just putting all that work and, like, time that I spent to get all these cards and just to put him into an SPC. I mean to be fair yeah we put him into a sick SPC but I don't think I can bring myself to getting rid of any. I think the only time I'll get rid of him is say that Messi is there and it's got like a few hours left and I know I'm not going to be able to get it any other way. I think that's the only way. I'm gonna submit submit some. I always feel sad for runaway cards. I can't get back. Yeah, that's what I felt like as well. Doing an icon player pick, like SBCs. I've done. Uh, I got rid of. You know, rid of. I think Showdown McTominay and Showdown Kleiber. Now, even though I, I didn't use them, I knew both just sat on my reserves. I didn't want to get rid of them, but it saved me so many coins that I just had to but SBC cards I'm not as bothered getting rid of uh, but yeah objective cards I'm just gonna try my best do you have any no cards that you won't throw away um, I don't think so I'm probably gonna put this messy into is player of the month just because I don't see the point. I mean, it is a first owner messer, but like, I don't see the point in having a worse version of him. So I guess I'll keep messer, but uh, sorry, get rid of Messi into the SBC. But yeah, I don't think any normal version of cards that I'm bothered just because you can buy them back if you really needed to. But yeah, I just try and keep cards that, like you say, you just can't really get back. Other ones that 
like for instance the road to the final cards I, I've tried and kept um, but I had like six and majority of them have been knocked out now except Kesse and Bruno Perez I think are the only two I've got left that are still in it and Roma won like 3-0 last night and AC Man obviously drew one all so they're on the verge of maybe getting another upgrade I have a many that I packed at the start of the game I have all five minutes I refuse to put in an SPC I guess the only player that this year that I've maybe like been reluctant to get rid of as a normal card would have been uh, Nathan Arke and the only reason is obviously I'm trying to go for a City team um, or like the best possible City team and I bought him in early access for I think I sniped him for like 7k when he was like 30k and so yeah I had him in early access and I literally got rid of him probably like four weeks ago and I had him all that all, from all that time in early access and from the start of the game. He was in my team for ages and I had like 198 games with him, something like that. I think he was literally on the verge of it in 200 and then I put him in to the City SBC, like the City League SBC. But yeah, that's probably the only time this year I felt like I actually didn't want to put a normal rare card into an SBC but I did it anyway but Mendy I had I had untradeable with quite a few games played and I put him into an SBC I had Varane untradeable as well I put him into an SBC just because I don't like seeing them anymore And to be honest with you, I never really liked... I didn't think Varane was that good anyway. I sort of just tried following the meta. And just used him because everyone else used him. And I got bored of using the exact same players that everyone uses every single week. So I ended up getting rid of him and trying like new teams out and stuff like that. I mean, my defence now is probably one of the best you can probably get other than maybe obviously Pepe got informed Joe Gomez that Dest and like Traore I don't think you can get much better other than like icons I love using Varane but I didn't want to be <laughs> Yeah, I I just wasn't a fan of him. I always had, obviously, Joe Gomez. I got ages ago now, Red Joe Gomez. I had Joe Gomez and Varane. And I just, Var, Varane is nothing compared to that Joe Gomez card. Joe Gomez, for me, is just, like, 20 times better. Obviously, for someone else, it might be like the complete opposite, but yeah. I wasn't a big fan of Varane, but he must be. Well, I know he's good because every time I come up against him, he seems like he can't do anything, so. But I still had like over 200 games played with him, but that's just because I had him and Furl on Mendy untradeable. So my defence was literally sorted for ages, and then that Zanetti SPC came out, which I completed. For I don't know really know why I did it. Decent, but in like center half and CDM, he's miles better. So it battered him in that first half. It's only one 0 Probably sub on Lautaro Martinez again. He didn't really get much of the ball in the last game.
while I was marking your stops. That was actually a free goal for him then. Should have done better with that. Veron on now. Uh, Veron. Neymar. Talk about Veron too much. That was a shocking pass. What that right in front of Neymar? Mine all day. Neymar diving out of the back post, no, I thought I'd see it. Do I need to make any changes? I mean, not front three, I'm not going to take you save you off. So, I will... Let's do this again. I'll put Diata at wing back. Destin Sanchez in the mid. Unlucky out. I didn't even expect him to get onto it. on mid you say you can't control a ball
How's he missed? It's been game over. You know he's scoring though. Don't miss that chance. Don't mind if he had like less than four star weak foot. But he doesn't. Well, actually, no, I still would mind because it's not even get it on target. It's shocking. Oh, and he's sent off as well. He's not sent off, but it's just so obvious. Should have kept cancel now. Quality tackle pepper. Should hopefully be game over. As if your player missed that chance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was his weak foot, but still. And my save, yeah. Thankfully, I saved it. Because to only win that game 1 0. All over him, all game. Yeah. So he had only three shots before that penalty. Two on target. Tight one, yeah. It was, but should have been over earlier on. But at least we won. That's the main thing. And one now. Nine shots and one goal sums up this game. Pretty much. Especially with like the players I have. Obviously some of them might not have been clear chances, but well, obviously we know one of them was. With Martin as a uh, but But at least, like I say, at least we won. It's the main. I mean, you say it was still been good, but it's not seen to have done as much so far this weekend compared to what he did last weekend. But, I mean, it's you say it so he'll turn up whenever he wants. One, two, three, four, what ifs. Pretty nice team. Different to what you normally see. Can't complain about his team. Better than seeing the usual players, so. Good chance from there. I'm 
sure they got tackled, but. There's a That's the downside of having your full backs on attacking. Can't get back in time. Take it. Bit of a look for the first lucky goal we've scored so far. I think. Just as I say, you say you have not done much. Goals and bags too in two minutes. Don't know what this car's doing, but the one who needs a goal, so. He's just trying to bait me out, trying to make me push up with my players. Oh, that'd have been sick. Quality tackle. Shocking pass, quality tackle. Oh, what it was a ball roll. Save. Quality cross, quality header. It's 
what I'm saying with the attacking full backs though Pepe has been solid. Said earlier on as well that he, he seemed pretty good and he has been. On last possession, but battering him in terms of shots. Don't know what passes, but back to FIFA 19. On these quits. Seven on one. Bro, this is a really good record for a Friday. Yeah, I'm sort of, I'm still a bit annoyed with the loss, but it's like you say, it's still, still decent. Like I said before, um, I think I went 11 and up before I got my first loss, and the first loss I actually went into foot champs from my wrong team. I used a team for Cockerella. I mean the team was still decent but nothing compared to a normal team but yeah cheers is pretty sick record don't know what that pings about not sure about that probably shouldn't have gone into it 
I definitely shouldn't have gone into it. Giroud. <laughs> that team and then Giroud. Sexy. Moments pale off. Is that prime? No, that's mid to down, I think. I'm not too sure. But that's sexy, me boy. <clears throat> Don't know why I've chipped it. Wasted a chance, a very good chance. Done that a few times so far this week, or this weekend. Catch. I thought you'd give a penalty then. Wouldn't surprise me to be honest. I actually didn't mean to fake shot that, I pressed X by accident. Well, it's a fake cross I guess, but... Oh, why can't I switch? It's annoying. Got way too much space, and I couldn't switch to what I wanted to. What a save. Pretty good to that to be fair. All over him, but can't score. Quality from Pepe. I should never have gone into this game, man. The delay is awful. I passed that so much earlier than when I actually, it actually went through. Like,
finally. So deserved. Nice bro, cheers. The only thing is, this guy gets one chance with these players he has. Even Giroud probably bag. You know, if he gets the chance, he's probably not going to miss. State of this game at times, man. Try and edit it to my player, but it's bounced off his head. Stats say it all. Might bring on Neymar a bit earlier in this game. Just because it seems a bit, a bit tight. A bit tempted to sub him on there and then, right at half time, but. No, that mess is not good enough, so. Seen the gap open up, but again, bit of delay. Oh no. Got a bit worried when I seen the ball in the air to Jerusalem. Had. Oh my god, come on. I tried sliding in, but he boots it out. Sign for Neymar, I think. Yeah, mate, come on. Oh. I'm just going to sub one name off and I'll and just leave it at that. Maybe Zinchenko later on for Triori is what I'm thinking. You've got this. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean like going off the stats at half time Deserved to be leading, if anything. The guy only had one attempt, one goal, but his overall play 
even though he may have only had like one shot his overall play is decent so just gotta be careful oh, I should never have done that Good tackle off Why can't I get a bit more luck and just go straight to Neymar? Walk is too good. I can't remember if it was his in for. Oh, my. Renato Sanchez does my head in, man. Sometimes. His passing is shocking. It's lucky, lucky he's good at everything else. Oh, why am I rushing it out? Go on, Giroud, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Would be Giroud as well, wouldn't it? Oh, God, so. Not deserved. <sighs> not deserved at all. What I should do. Why not? It's hard to be Giroud as well. Not deserved again, but. That is a joke. Like Neymar, what practically one on one, and he finesses it straight at the keeper. That is an absolute joke. Well, what is you say? You're doing quality defender, yes. How does he get there before Cantona, though? He's literally through. Like, this delay is... I should never have gone into this game. You see how bad that shot was again from Neymar? That's twice that he should have just curled top corner. Right, like, what is that? It just wasted like 10 15 seconds just from that. Falls to one player out of everyone who was in the box, and it was his player. <laughs> Absolute joke, man. can't believe what I'm seeing. Two games I should have won. I don't understand how I can 
go from like last week being 11 and 0 and now lose two within the first 10. Absolute joke it is. The guy created two chances literally in the whole game. All right, he had four shots, but he had two chances, good chances, scored them both. And I've got Neymar, literally no one in front of him to even block it twice in the last five minutes. And he finesses it straight at the keeper both times. You know, I shouldn't have gone into that game when it went to like 40 up ping. Ah, stupid from me. But even still, should never have lost it. I'm not going into another game that says 60. Don't know why it's so high. Never been that high in its life. Probably because I'm streaming, to be fair. But do you, I'm pretty sure the other games weren't like that. And of course, the ping game had low ping, the guy quit. Some of these teams I've come up against today are mental. Like, right. Red Ronaldo. I'm not happy with 7 and 2 at all. Which may sound um, a bit stupid because yeah, it's still a you know a pretty sick record. But for obviously, I didn't stream last week, but it's just I don't understand how I can do so good last week. I literally went 17 and two last week, so I'd have to go and win my next 10 games if I wanted to get this same record. No chance. I don't, I just don't understand how it can change so much. As long as we win this game, end on a, because this is probably going to be my last game, play 10. Um, 10 games done, out of the way, and then I will probably stream again tomorrow as well. I thought it wasn't going to give a foul then. That was supposed to be a ball roll. But oh, far's definite foul. He's actually going to shoot them as well after trying to tackle him.
local goal to be fair Out of nothing again though I just couldn't see too many goals where like just completely against the run of play I just, literally the guys hardly touched it in my box in it's first attempt he has so either I'm not clinical enough or defending isn't good enough probably a bit of both I mean that goal was nice to be fair, the lock of has absolutely done me in but still it's like the first time you step foot into anywhere near my box. And he scored. How does my player fall over? That would have been a sick goal. Shocking pass. Oh, got. Since he scored, he probably played better. Better than me. Since he scored it. I don't feel like them stats sum up how it, it, it went. But maybe that's just me thinking I did better <clears throat> than, I actually, than I actually did. I'm going to get Neymar on straight away. You know, I press X, but he just doesn't do anything. Why didn't they mass that run? If he carried on running, he'd gone straight in behind, I could have passed it through. But he stopped running, I had no option to go back. The delay man in this is, is annoying me. Just pass it when I ask you to pass it, please. <laughs> oh my god. And you kept up. Let's just do my editing. Never wanted to bring him out. I don't know what's happening. It's just going to pop. How do I not tackle him? Just 
should have played him through. Another shocking pass. I, this is just stupid. What's the point in having these players? It's like it's mid you savior when he can't pass five yards in front of him. name has even touched the ball not creating anything not for the middle anyway another shocking pass Another shocking pass. I shot, but he just stood still. I don't. It's just a delay. It's just. It's honestly just shocking. I've just passed it. I pressed X and triangle on, and not once did he press do anything. Shocking pass again. Oh, just try and shut up because it sounds like I'm constantly moaning, which I am. But this, it, this is just stupid. That's mid you save you for <laughs> The delay is real. Yeah. But the I I don't there's nothing to say. What is that pass? So apparently all these players just go shocking now. Renato Sanchez lunged in for some whatever reason. Another pass not gone. To my player. My pass accuracy in this second half must be 50% or something. Another shocking pass. Tackling what? Don't give the ball. Player runs past the ball. How am I supposed to build up an attack when as soon as I get the ball my players just pass it back to me? That's not a foul. Just because he fell over don't mean it's a foul. That is one of the worst halves I think I've ever seen in my life.
you've got this. Hopefully. But like, I didn't even pass that first pass then. Mm. Just need pure pace. Like this. Like that. That's why I subbed him on. Just got to pray one pass goes through. Finally did. And he's on the end of it. <laughs> Super sub of dreams. I had to take one of the front three off anyway because... He just weren't good enough. I was tempted to take, take off Neymar as well. But. In that time of me taking my mic off, two passes don't go where I want them to go, and he scores. And if he goes penalties, then GG, because I cannot take penalties to save my life. Look, are you serious? Nah, I've seen it all. That That is the slowest I have ever seen my defender run. Ah, I don't know why I bother. Stupid. Of course, the ball gets robbed off me straight away. That's not a foul. This is the worst game I think I've played this year. Will be when I'm streaming, won't it? How long do you want to play advantage for? Because he's literally gone and dribbled with the ball for like three, four seconds. <laughs> yeah, typical.
I pressed X and he does a through ball. Worst game I've played this year by a mile. Absolute joke. Seven and three is probably one of the worst starts I've had. This FIFA will be again when the first week I start streaming. All three games should never have lost. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even care what the stats say, I would have had so many more opportunities if it weren't for them passes. 82% pass like I said, no way it was that high. Not the way I wanted to end the stream. Went well the first, what, eight games? Lucky roll, yeah. Cheers. Never, just never played a, in a game that bad. Literally, it was impossible to create a chance because every time I got the ball, my players give it away. I tried slowing it down and being more patient with it, but it's, every pass is just shocking. So I'm seven and three. Lost more games than I did last week already. So yeah, that is going to be the last game. Um, so if you got anything else to say or any a question or anything, get it in now because I'm going to end the stream in a minute or two. Yeah, not the way I wanted to end, end it, but that's FIFA. My own fault for playing it. What time are you streaming tomorrow? Um, so I'll look at the games. So tomorrow, if it wants to load. In fact, there's a game today, one there. Sure, Newcastle played Villa today. Finished one all. 94th minute. That's not good for fancy, my fancy football. Um, right, so for tomorrow, at least Chelsea half 12, Palace West Brom, City play 8, so. I'll probably stream early, earlier on, probably from like between 12 and 1, maybe I'll start it. Um, what I might do is, I may just get like a, um, what do you call it, I think I can put out like a, a scheduled like time that I start so maybe I'll I'll put that out and I think you should see that maybe it'll come up as a notification if you have the bell uh, turned on I'm not too sure uh, how that works to be honest if that comes up as a notification or not but I'm probably probably say between 12 and 1 and yeah, I don't know how many games I'll play tomorrow. Uh, I'm surprised I've got through 10 today, to be honest. 
Uh, I've not played 10 on a Friday for a while. But, yeah, so between 12 and 1 will be the most likely time that I start. Nice bro, I'll be there, I hope. Well, if you can, then that's great. Um, obviously, don't expect you to expect you to be there. Um, completely up to you, of course. So, if you can make it, then great. Um, but, I'm probably gonna end it there. So, thanks for being here, supporting, and, um, giving me some enjoyment through that something to actually speak about stuff like that um, so thanks for that but yeah I'm gonna end it now so I will see you tomorrow if you are there